This is Ricardo from SmartCloudComputing.net and today I will be demonstrating how to automatically add an attacker's IP address on a Palo Alto Networks firewall. How trustworthy is your blacklist feed? Network security engineers rely and trust the blacklist feeds, whether they get them from MindMail, MX Toolbox, SpamHouse, IP Info, and others. For the most part, these are quite accurate. However, Hackers are crafty and switch public IP addresses frequently. To keep up the databases up to date in real time is extremely challenging to say the least. So what can you do to keep up with the ever-changing harmful IP addresses? You need to inspect traffic for threats on a Palo Alto Networks firewall. Once the firewall detects the threat and the attacker's public IP address, the firewall will then automatically add the attacker's IP address in a deny firewall rule. Why do I need to blacklist the attacker's IP address if my firewall is already blocking threats? The answer is simple. You don't know what other vulnerabilities the attackers are trying to exploit. The firewall may or may not detect all the threats. To reduce your attack surface even more, you need to blacklist the IP address from trying to scan your network altogether on any port and any application. As you can see here, um, I'm showing you a list of malicious IP addresses that are attacking my network. So some of these IPs are not being recognized by my blacklist feed and I'm using the firewall to detect the threats and once that threat is detected it adds that IP address to a blacklist and all this is done automatically so I will show you how to configure that up on the firewall. I have singled out one of the IP addresses that's attacking my network and I will show you how the new rule is blacklisting that IP address. Here's the security policy I created to add those IP addresses to a blacklist in an automatic fashion. And the one I have highlighted, highlighted has the new identified malicious IP addresses. So if you click here, go to value, click on more, you will see all those new IP addresses, including the one I singled out earlier. It's right here. So if you can see here, I have several blacklist feeds that are not identifying that new IP address. So this is an extra layer of security for your network. One of the advantages of creating this blacklist for yourself is that you can use this dynamic group to build another security policy to block your users from reaching that IP address. And as you can see, I have already have used that address group right here in this block outbound to blacklist. So I have my blacklisted feeds from Palo Alto and other resources and other sources and I have added that that dynamic address group but now I will demonstrate how to automatically build your blacklist IP address so you the first thing you have to do is go to objects go to tags you have to create a tag here Call it what you want. You just go down here, click add, name it. I prefer to use a color just to identify it quicker. Then you click on share if you're using panorama and you want to use that on all your firewalls. The next step is to create a log forwarding profile. I have created already one, but you just click add, then name it. And here is the important piece. You need to create a 
block for in profile match list. So I have created one here. And what's very important to do is you have to set the log type to thread here. You have multiple options. We'll use thread, then create a filter. Right here, you'll see a, a list of different filters. Then this is where the automation comes in because this will auto tag it, that, um, that traffic. So create, click on add, just click on the one I created, name it, choose tagging, the source address, tag the source address, which is what you want. And then type the tag. This tag is very important. This tag has to be used in the address group. So it has to be the same in the address group. So you click OK, click OK. Now it's very important to point out that you want to still over all your traffic to panorama so create another profile match list then log type and as a filter all logs and then click here in panorama so it'll forward all the traffic logs to panorama so click OK click OK on the log forwarding profile as you can see I created Two more entries so I can identify all three types that I want to add to my blacklist. So you click OK, then go to address groups, create another address group. I created this address group right here and click on shared if you want to share this address group to all your firewalls. I would suggest you do so. It will help you use that blacklist on all your firewalls. So the type you want to choose on your address group is you just have to set it to dynamic and you want to match it here. So you, this is the tag name you use in the log forwarding profile. So that has to match. And I added a tag here on the address group. This is a best practice and to keep things more identifiable. So you click OK. Now you have to go to your security policy. The first thing you have to do on your security policy is that you have to specify the use of that block forwarding profile so it can tag that malicious IP address. Um, it can be any security policy, and in this case, it's for an inbound security policy. So my source will be the internet, and then I'm protecting the edge, my web servers, and the applications. And then as the action, I'm allowing, of course, that traffic, but I'm forwarding that traffic log, as you noticed in the log, profile that I created but also it's also detecting those malicious IP addresses those threats so it'll forward that to that address group that I created now you have to create a security policy to block any of those IP addresses from that address group so that way it'll block any for any application coming from those malicious IP addresses that your firewall just identify. So I built this rule and as you can see here, you can see the IP addresses have been already populated. So these IP addresses have been added to that group. And if you notice here, I have six blacklist feeds from external sources and they are missing those malicious IP addresses. So you definitely want an extra layer of protection and reduce your attack surface by leveraging the use of your firewall to identify more malicious IP addresses and block them 
right away. So this is for inbound traffic. So once you have this address group, what you want to do is you want to leverage those IP addresses that you have identified. So you're basically creating your own blacklist, blacklist database. So you go to your outbound rule, and you're telling it, okay, I want to block all my feeds that I have here, all those malicious IP addresses, and I also want to block the IP addresses that were identified by my firewall. Hey, before you go, make sure you subscribe for more great tutorials. You can also click the thumbnail to watch another video from this channel. And one more thing, don't forget to check out the description below. This is Ricardo with smartcloudcomputing.net. See you on the next video.